It's time to carry the stupids. And I'm doing the intro. Apparently I'm on probation. But, uh, well, uh, this guy calls himself Sniper Z. And he plays a heavy tank because, because that makes sense, doesn't it? And, uh, now come on down and see if you can carry the stupids. Now, everybody knows how this game works by now. Do I have to tell you? Okay, he has to get more, more kills than his whole team combined and win the match. whoop de doo that's going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> I've been known to pick some games where the contestant doesn't quite achieve that result and Close gets upset. So I promise this particular game, uh, we're going to watch an awesome and epic performance by uh, Sniper Z, whatever, in his stupid tank here. And here he goes. He's going to start. And just a second here, I've got to switch it. Doing the commentary here. Mr. Klaus Kellerman. Click this. All right, there you go. You, you like it? Huh? Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Guys, Bob is back. Of course. We I'm couldn't back. keep we couldn't keep him away. What do you mean away? And Bob, you are on probation. The, yeah, pro probe this. And this game that you chose? Yeah, it's going to well, you never know what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good luck. All right, guys. Bob has promised that is an epic, an epic fight, and uh, well, let's just watch. <laughs> I see how this one's gonna go, Bob. He bounced his first shot on the side of a of an object, uh, that object being a tank, and then he <laughs> penned his next shot on the side of a yag tiger, that tiger being a hunk of shit. And uh, well, <laughs> let's just. And a Ferdinand, which is also a hunk of shit. Well, Bob, you have described World of Tanks perfectly in the first three shots of the game. <clears throat> three tanks hit in the side. Two pens, one bounces. Which one bounced? The one that hit an uh, object pixel. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now you guys know the, uh, it's a Carry the Stupids. It's an episode of Carry the Stupids, boys. Uh, he, whoa, he said, how did he pen me? Uh, uh, another object penned him. A hull, an object penned a hull down Concept 1B. But he must get more kills than his whole team combined. And win the match. That's his goal. And so far, they are losing. Uh, but what? No, you know, it's still a close game, and I think that he damaged them. Very good uh, blind shot there. Just because the enemies disappear, guys, does not mean they are not there. You should always press the trigger, unless you're limited on your ammunition. But now he's spamming heat like a mofo. It's heat, right? This number two. Yeah, spamming heat. Why would you be blind shooting heat? That's. Uh, Money is no object for this guy. And he's in the perfect position. He's hauled down and he's, a, you know, there's a... The Yag Tiger hunk of shit. Very difficult to play a Yag Tiger in a position like this. <laughs> Way to go, T-44. That's a good, that's a good strategy too. To you know, drive in front of the tank that you have on your team that does most of the damage. The Yag Tiger got a good hit on him. 619, wow. And you know why? Let's see, Coppola, no. Coppola deviate. Hey, Yuri, he tried to aim for Coppola. We deviate shot. Little bit sigma. Let he try again. We deviate shot. He, too much of his hulls um, in view there. He's not hull down. Serious. Uh, he's on that ridge line, but he's not hull down, right? He's poking over. His whole hull is uh, visible because the ridge line is too, too steep. He doesn't have the gun depression to be hull down on that. On this, I believe he may have the gun depression. No, he's still showing a lot of his fault. Let's see. Oh, it is Ferdinand. Oh, bounces on the Ferdinand. Ferdinand has some pretty good armor up top. But I think, yeah, right there. If you hit the flat part, I think you'd be okay. Yeah, there you go. And this is just regular. It just needs regular for the Ferdinand. And the Ferdinand has no hope. What is the Ferdinand doing? The Ferdinand has disconnected. No, the Ferdinand has shot his gun. I don't know where his shot went. He's trying to hit the flat part. Yeah. His shots are just... Wargaming has decided that he should not 
win this game. His shots are just, he's got Sigma from hell. No bullseyes. This tank hits bullseyes almost all the time, but he's just getting bad RNG'd up the ass, but this one will work. Enemy armor is destroyed. No problem, no problem. Oh, artillery shock, and he's stunned. Not again, but he's stunned. And now, yeah, yeah, beautiful. The 50 TP immobilizes him. He immobilizes. Well, he shot the 50 TP in the tracks, but didn't immobilize him. He penned him. And now, can he? Can he? Yes, there he is. It's a fuzzy pixel. I don't know. I guess the branch was making the pixel fuzzy. I don't know what happened there. He was aiming at the tank, but the tank became fuzzy. There was a, a branch in the way, and now he's got to go worry about the cap because his. Oh, no, oh, they've reset. They've reset. Oh, they've reset. You don't have to worry about the cap anymore. You can still fight at your choke point, but he decides to move in this position. Let's see if he gets trolled. No, nope. direct hit. Ah, bullseye when aiming at the pattern. No problem. He's got it. He bullseyes at targets that are uh, 480 meters away. <laughs> point blank. Vroom, 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 vroom. Miss every shot, point blank. 450 meters away, bullseye. <laughs> Snap it. There you go. There you go. He can't miss now. He's so close now. He can't. Now it doesn't matter. Let's go. Let, let's go. Let's go. Take me down to Junior's farm. Oh, up, 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 up the ass for you. Got him. And now the ST1 is trying to pay him back and he bounces. Good, good move. Getting behind the tank. That's good. That's good. Now make this ST1 feel foolish. He's turned sideways. You can put one into his uh, dairy area. And you can put... Look at that. Oh, yeah. The DPM will start to mount up. Set him on fire. Set him on fire. Boom. Set him on fire. This is nice. Poor STB1. Not STB1. Sorry. ST1. <laughs> oh my. Bob, he's got four kills. But they're losing 9-10. Bob picked a good game so far. If you're trolling us. Bob has a history of uh, picking out these carry the stupid games. And uh, he has to get more kills than his whole team combined. And win the game. And it's usually someone that has a phenomenal game. But is, you know he loses. Or he only gets uh, three kills. And still, you know. LOL. Roll 377 on the artillery. That, oh, doesn't that hurt? What hurts is the gun is still in the game. See, and can you get him now? No, he said. You shoot the artillery, you low roll, and then his gun is still in the game. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, you know, frustrating. Oh, 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 oh. Bullseye. Now his RNG has taken a turn for the better. He's got uh, better bullseyes. Yeah, come on, make a count. Oh, he's dead. Someone stole the kill. You have to get more kills than your whole team come by. He didn't get the kill on the artillery. He didn't get the kill on the STRV. He didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Guru, 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 guru. Yes. That shot deviated, but he got it. He snapped it. He didn't name that very long. And now he just snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it. Whoa, yeah. Oh, low roll. He's low rolling like a motherfucker. That's two kill shots. That he, you know, his alpha is 400, right? Yeah, and he's rolling 370, 360. And leaving the enemies on 10, 20 HP. So, he's getting trolled. He's getting trolled. But that's okay. He's He's got the power! Here he goes. They, they've got it now. Oh, and Miel took a kill. You gotta get more kills than your whole team combined. And he, he drives into a rock. And yes, he gets it. He hit pixel. Shot deviated into patent pixel. And now target's acquired. Target's acquired. Target's destroyed. Okay, he's got seven kills. His team has seven kills. They're going to win. If the T-44 gets the... Bob, if the T-44 gets the kill, he does not win carry the stupids. He has to get more kills than his whole team combined. He needs eight kills. Where's the Lorraine? Where's the Lorraine? Where's it? And the T-44 drove into a rock. And he shoots the Lorraine. After he's been stunned again. Whoa, he's stunned again. And snipers from the XADEN clan successfully wins 
this episode of Carry the Stupids. He has Ace the Tank. He has 8,147 damage, 8 kills, which is more kills than his whole team combined. And he has achieved victory and uh, <clears throat> made some credits as well. Bob picked a good one. Well, guys, Bob made us happy today, didn't he? Bob, you made me happy. Guys, that was a good game, wasn't it? He, uh, he was in the thick of it the whole game, and he just rained destruction upon those enemies. I think he did a great job. And uh, 8,000 damage, 8 kills. Can't argue with that, so let's have a little fun now. We drop her down to tier 6, and we watch a Cromwell B, which is always fun to watch, right? And it's uh, Staramuha. Staramuha, Staramuha, can you do the Bandango? That's his name from the uh, AZP clan. Shout out to you guys. And he's a zoomer. He's not a boomer. He's a zoomer. I like to play. I like to play World of Tanks like this. Can you do the bandango? From the boats of lightning, very very frightening. Oh! There's a Chaffee, there's a Chaffee, there's a Chaffee, there's a Chaffee, oh Chaffee, magnifico. Shoot the Chaffee! You're, you're screwing up my commentary. Yeah, take the long range shot with your Cromwell B. And he hits! <laughs> this thing has a hard time um, hitting precise bullseyes. If any of you have played the Cromwells, they are very difficult because of the... Uh, the penalties on the dispersion of the gun when you're stop when you're moving traversing turning your hull your circle your aiming circle really blooms and you have very bad penalties so when you're fully aimed and stationary and you got a target that you can shoot over and over again you can you know bullseye 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 but when you're popping over a ridge line and moving especially if you're moving all three variables each one of the variables, you know the three variables, I've not mentioned this before. The three variables are moving your tank, traversing your hull, traversing your turret. If you do any of those things, uh, the game imposes a penalty on your accuracy, which, okay? <laughs> which makes your shots go vroom, 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 vroom. So very good Cromwell B players or Cromwell players or t any tank that has a high penalties is to learn not to move all those things at the same time. And you say, Klaus, shut up. No, it's true. See, like, like when he's moving like you see that? Impossible to hit. He has to calm down now, stay stationary. Now look, see? But he can't stay stationary. Now you see what he did there? He just moved his turret. The circle didn't get that much bigger. Do you, do you know why? Because he didn't move his hull. And he didn't traverse his hull. Now he's stationary. All he's moving is, is his turret. The penalty. And now he moved his. Now, don't do that. See, every time he does that, the circle gets bigger. Do you see that? Perfect illustration. There you go. When you're stationary, and now the circle's got bigger, take you longer to aim now. See, every time you move, a, a new penalty is imposed. A new blooming of the, um, of the aim circle. A, your circle blooms more because you have more penalties on you so a really good player will get to a ridge line get to a perfect position pre-aim at the tank he's going to shoot and as he pokes that ridge line the only thing he moves is his, his hull he only moves forward shoots and pulls back he doesn't move the turret around he doesn't traverse the tank he does not allow those two extra penalties applied he's just on the ridge line a good player will just come up poke the ridge line and sh and shoot right to get always have the least amount of penalties imposed on you so your gun your your dispersion your aim circle doesn't bloom as much it's a very uh, it's a mindset some people can't do it some people are constantly they're looking around makes their turret move they're pressing the keys making their tank move they're moving back and forward then you're gonna miss a lot of shots you, you know, especially on a corner like this what do you want to do you want to calm down pre-aim let's stop here you want to calm down like this pre-aim with your aim dot this thing pre-aim the aim dot on on the tank you want to shoot or auto lock on him so your turrets facing the target 
position your hull how you want, whatever angle or whatever side scrape, whatever you're going to do. Turret is locked. Move forward, shoot, move back. Don't turn your hull. Don't peer around the corner and move your turret. And it, you're, you're going to miss. Okay, you get it? So if you just move your tank forward, your turret is already locked, you, and you move your tank forward slowly if you want, uh, there's only one penalty applied. Penalty while, uh, while moving. You don't get the penalty while hull traversing. You don't get the penalty while turret traversing. To mitigate the penalty, you have to have um, vert stabs. All right? Or vert stabs and improve rotation. If you want to mitigate those penalties. Let's go. See, now he's pre-aimed. He pulls up. Now, he did a little adjustment, so it takes a little longer to... Now he's not moving. Beautiful. Now just don't move. Don't move. Every time you move, you're causing more penalty. And there you go. Oh, you see that? Now he's got... And now he has to move to get the target. But uh, you, I think you got the, uh, the idea, right? If they're not shooting back at you, if there's no reason to move, don't. If you have to avoid being hit, of course, you, you have to, right? You, don't be unreasonable. Don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Don't, Klaus said you should sit still and let the enemies shoot you uh, so that your sigma's not as bad. No, that's not what I said. I'm trying to give you a, a pointer. When you're playing these tanks, it's like the Cromwell is the king of penalties applied to the gun. And you'll, and you'll wonder when you're fighting a Cromwell. He's poking the ridgeline and he hits me over and over and over again. When I play the Cromwell, I can't hit anything. Well, take a, a look at how you're playing it. And then, uh, like, watch. Okay, now he's... Uh, like, on the move, the Cromwell's... Now he has to stop. See, he can't hit anything if he's in movement. It's very difficult. He did that. Now, auto-aim is working. And now stop. Just stop. Just stop. Stop moving. Stop moving! Okay. He's illustrating my point. I, I, I don't think he understands the no move. He's trying maybe to get avoid the uh, uh, the SPG fire. Now he's really close, so it doesn't matter. But hopefully, uh, maybe that was informative. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think that was informative. A lot of you probably already knew that if you've played this game a long time. Uh, but it, uh, it really makes sets a, a good player apart from an amateur, right? Someone that does not know that will simply not be able to make some tanks work. Some tanks, if you, if you do not think of what I, or play the way I, I just described, you will have such a low hit percentage, they, they will frustrate you and you'll say, I, I don't like the gun on this gun, I can't hit anything. You'll never be able to play ridge lines. You will never be able to do the poke and shoot uh, strategy. Now give them a little ram there, a little left hand there. No, he didn't ram. Okay. You should have rammed him. Cromwell's a good rammer. It's working, but not very well. It's okay. That was fun, wasn't it? Well played, Cromwell. So hopefully that uh, helps some of you. Uh, because remember, the really good players, you'll notice them on the ridge lines. They're constantly um, uh, hitting you, and you try the same thing and you have trouble. Well, you know what they're doing. They're, they're minimizing those penalties by only moving forward, slightly shooting and pulling back. Uh, very important in, in some tanks. And uh, if you learn that, your hit percentage will increase dramatically. Uh, try and play the Cromwell B again. If, you, if you've played the Cromwell B and have had trouble with its accuracy, you know, you get trolled a lot, try it again and, and think of what I said. And uh, let me know if it improves your gameplay. Huh? Klaus Kellerman here to, for your benefit, <laughs> subscribe to the channel uh, if, you're, um, uh, if you haven't yet. Because why not? What the hell are you waiting for? And I'll catch you guys on the next one.